Hello and welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary and today I'm going to be talking about this new product I picked up. Um, it is a Recover, I guess is the brand. It's CC3P is the model number, but it's basically a set of grips for a 1911. And I thought, wow, that's, that's pretty nice. And I found it for about $40 plus tax. Um, and I'm going to give it a shot. And what I'm going to be mounting it on uh, after reading some reviews, I heard it will fit this. So this is a Rock Island Armory 1911 in 10 millimeter that I have recently picked up. And uh, we're going to try to get this system mounted on this firearm. So we will see how it goes. Um, I want to take you over to the website though and we'll show you, I'll show you uh, some of their photos and stuff like that. Before I do, I'd like to thank all my subscribers and i want to thank you for watching this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you like the channel and you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button if you're not sure if you're gonna like the channel please watch a few more videos and then if you like the channel by all means hit that subscribe button all right let's move on here and go to their website so there you go this is recover grip and rail systems and they actually have a lot of stuff there so much stuff that I don't have time to go through it all. So I just went straight to the product I picked up. So this is, um, yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. It's, um, I don't know, it's kind of neat. Allows you to mount something on it, like a flashlight um, or whatever. And uh, they have it in various colors. There's a gray one and um, there you go. Black with a gray uh, or with a flat dark earth handle. I mean, look at all those combinations there. There's, there's, there's tons of them. So, um, but I read a lot of reviews and there was, uh, you know, there's kind of mixed opinions about it, but for the most part, everybody was saying, Hey, you know what? This is a, a really good product. Now I will say, if you put it on there, uh, you do have to buy their holster for it. So, um, yeah, be aware of that. And, um, other than that though, uh, it does. I, I think it looks neat. So I'm going to put it on here in a second, but we're going to break it out of the box and see what it all comes with real quick. I will put a link to this um, to recover uh, on my web page under the links tab. Uh, I haven't had a chance to do it yet, but I'll put it down under firearm gear and accessories. So if you all want to go look at it and you forget what it's called, I'll have it there. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see what it comes with before I go and put it on this firearm all right hey so it looks like it's just one bag everything's in one bag here and we're going to open her up all right if i can get my fingers on it there we go so looks like we got the two halves here half one half two um looking at them i mean i'll tell you what uh, Feels like good quality. Feels like really. Yeah, let me get one up here that you can look at. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any bad uh, cast jobs on the plastic or whatever. No burrs or anything. Yeah, there might be one or two there that I'll have to file off, but to clean it up. Other than that, though, it's looking looking really nice. All right, let's see what else they sent us or came in this box. Yeah. Just so you know, yeah, I purchased this online at a massive online retailer uh, that you all know about. They sell everything. And I picked it up, if you saw the price on the website, I picked it up uh, about $10 cheaper than that. So, um, okay, so we got two sets of inner grip pieces, I guess. There's um, uh, two black ones and two flat dark earth ones. If you, I guess so if you wanna go uh, two-tone or not, and I might go two-tone since the, the 1911 I have is black. And then it looks like we got a couple Allen wrenches and some screws. And I'm guessing those screws are probably for right here and here. So, all right. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, um, yeah, go over there to my workbench, put this on, come back and... Tell you how easy it was or how hard it was and show you what it looks like all right Whew, all right actually it was actually really quick 
uh, wasn't too difficult. So you want to see it? Here it is. Bam. Look at that. Yep. Kind of gives it a nice sleek tactical look. Um, I will say there's a few things I'll probably I'll take it off and I got to sand a few spots. I don't know if it's Rock Island Armory or or the product, but um, around the trigger guard here, it's a little wider than I think they expected. And you can see there's just a small gap right here. Um, and that might be just, you know, just a little bit of sanding to make that a little bit smoother. But it's, it's nice up here, nice and flush. So I think mounting anything on it is going to be nice. The grips, I went with the two-tone. And, I mean, honestly, it all feels solid real solid super easy to put on I tested functionality of the firearm um, other than firing it um, so everything moves and does what it's supposed to even with this on it so there you go that that is it that is it let me know what you think um, I will be doing a review on this because it is a 10 millimeter it's my first 10 millimeter I picked up um, and we'll see now I picked this up uh, used, but it, you know, I was told it hadn't been shot very often. So, but uh, yeah, there we go. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna give it at least one thumbs up. And after I shoot it, as long as it doesn't fall apart, I'll give it two thumbs up. <laughs> so, but I think it makes it look really nice. And so, that was the recover, uh, recover tactical, and it was the CC. 3p now they have multiple models they have a cc3 h and a c i think and you might want to look to make sure uh, i think some of those are four different specific models of 1911s i'm not sure uh exactly what what is what but i did read a, a review that said that this model which is the cc 3p fits on the rock island stuff and it looks like it does so i'll be testing it out at the range and we'll see how she does all right, folks, that's all I got. Let me know uh, what your thoughts are on it. If you have one on your 1911 and you like it, let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button. Um, that's all I got. Y'all have a good day.